So let's show you some real world examples of Spectral AS10. If you have, for example, a live recording of your band, you usually have a lot of cymbal bleed and the backing vocals or the vocal tracks. So in this case, I have a live recording of my band Subway to Sally, and these are the two backing vocals. A lot of symbols, right? That always was a problem before Spectral Layers 10. I apply Spectral Layers to the audio. And then I use the unmix function and let Spectral Layers split it into vocals and drums. I do this on both tracks. Unmix, song, vocals and drums. And what Spectral Layers is doing now, it's just splitting the audio and giving me three layers. The first layer is called vocals, the second is drums, and the third is non-unmixed. So this is all the rest Spectral Layers cannot say. If it's vocals or drums, it's just everything else. Um, we don't care about the third layer, so we mute this one. And let's have a listen. <laughs> Well, until now, nothing changed, but now I will mute the drum layer. And let's have a listen again. So, the cymbals are gone, and I can compress and mix and edit the vocals just like it was a studio recording. I can even have a listen to the drums only. And I could use this layer as drum room, if I want to. So, this is how I use spectral layers on live recordings, especially on backing vocals. <laughs> 